Hi guys, this is Andre from Empower again. This is again a different video, it's gonna be in English. Uh, so you're gonna see the dead subtitles here in below. Uh, I, I met an amazing person and he's here with me. Uh, it's Skinner Lane. Uh, he's the founder of Exosphere, which has exactly the same purpose for brain power. So I, I'm very happy and glad to have him here uh, to, to let you know about what he's doing. And maybe he may serve as an inspiration for you to do what we talk about here in Brain Power is to find a purpose and try to find a way to live a purpose. Try to find a, a, a story to create for yourself connected to your purpose. So I'm gonna ask Skinner to talk a little bit more about what he's doing, what, what's, what's his background. I mean, well, I, I've spent my whole life as an entrepreneur and I, I've never, never been able to follow somebody else's path, but at the same time, uh, I think that what a lot of people, they assume once you set out on an entrepreneurial path that, that means you've already found your purpose or your meaning or your passion in life. And, and what I can say is that if, you, if you've started down this path and you don't know where you're going yet, uh, or you think, oh, maybe this isn't it, don't worry. This is a really normal part of the process uh, because we, we can only know what we are meant to do by trying some things and figuring out what we aren't meant to do. Uh, we have to approach this process via negativa. And, and this is something that is really challenging because it means trying something, really trying it, not just giving a little bit of effort, but really pouring your heart into something and seeing where it leads you and, and then analyzing whether that's really what, uh, what your purpose or calling is. So it's when when you set out on the journey, uh, it's not that's not the destination. Actually, it's just the starting point. And and so a lot of people get frustrated, and discouraged uh, if they if they don't immediately find something that they really care about. But uh, the, I, I think everybody should learn to enjoy that exploration process, uh, even in, in its more frustrating moments. And so I've kind of weaved my life through tech startups, politics, finance. Uh, and and I eventually uh, found a way to bring all of my interests into one place and one uh, where I can focus and dedicate all of my attention, all of my effort. And and I think that everybody can can do that. It, it's a different process for each person, uh, and the outcome, what it looks like, will also look very different for each person. But it's a the, the process itself is uh, enjoyable. You learn a lot about yourself. And you also see that you're more capable of things that you never thought you could do before. Cool. Well, uh, very, very happy to, to hear these things. I, I actually met uh, Skinner in a, in a congress here in Brazil. Open Innovation Week was the, was the congress. And he was giving a speech which was very inspiring for everybody there. Because there was people from many big companies. I mean, huge companies. I mean, this is... This was supposed to be the, the concept for success. I mean, this is what the society says success is, right? To get to a big company, and this, when you get to a big company, you're gonna be successful. And I saw that even these people that were there, like an investor uh, to support all the business, they, they were there to, to, to be the to support side of the, of, the, of, the, of the Open Innovation Week. And they were really connected. That was really, that was really funny because these guys, the success part of the story were like oh my god what maybe maybe I'm not so successful you know and he he said a poem uh, by head it was amazing for me and uh, I, I would like to ask you to to say that again because it's it's a very connecting poem it's it's a very amazing one I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the, the poem below uh, in Portuguese of course but uh, please would you would you do that again sure. the poem is called the psalm of life by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And he says, Tell me not, in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. For the soul is dead and slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real, life is earnest, and the grave is not its goal. From dust thou art, to dust returnest, was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow finds us farther than today. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like dumb-driven cattle, be a hero in the strife. 
Art is long and time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still, like muffled drums, are beating funeral marches to the grave. Trust no future, however pleasant. Let the dead past bury its dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within and God o'erhead. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another, sailing o'er life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing, may take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. Uh, you can clap your hands from here, I mean, it's amazing. First thing, the, 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 he can memorize the whole poem. <laughs> this poem is amazing for me. And the second thing is the beauty of the poem. The beauty of any poem is that you connect majorly to, to a part of it. I mean, y usually people stick to a part of the poem. And the thing that connects more for, for, for me for this poem is the part of the cave, you know. I was working for a big company, as you probably know if you follow the, if you follow the blog. And I was successful. I mean, I, I believe I was successful. I was in that cave, you know. Looking around, people were like looking to me and saying, oh, you, 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 you're doing good, right? And I was in that cave not feeling good. I mean, internally I wasn't feeling good. And this is, I mean, this part of the poem connected a lot to me. And this is actually the real reason why I went to talk to him. And it was amazing because when you connect to someone in via the why, you know, via the, the, the real reason, you really usually find different things that you do in common. So we connected in many things, actually. We, we may start to do some things together, but this is a different subject. But the real beauty of a poem is like, try to, to read it carefully and try to find something that connects to you because this poem says a lot about your life says a lot a lot about how you should live your life I mean if you could like read carefully so it was a very good conversation but very theoretical right I mean people live their lives maybe in a company maybe not in a company I mean it doesn't matter where you how you're gonna live in your life but maybe you're not in your purpose right how would you do to, to really find the purpose I mean no no it's, it's quite theoretical oh, you're gonna find your purpose and then you're gonna live it's beautiful how should you do that how you do that? it's really simple actually find something that you think you might like to do and try it get your hands dirty don't read about it don't study it just try something create something put it out to the world see if people like it see if other people connect with it but you have to try it you have to get your hands dirty you can't you can't uh, sit around and wait for the perfect moment because there's no perfect moment. Um, but if you, if you don't try, you won't know. If you like it, you won't know what's possible. And usually when you try something, you discover new possibilities that you didn't know before. But uh, if you're sitting at your computer and uh, just living this dream uh, on, online or in your head, you're never going to know. And so you have to get out, get away from your computer screen, go talk to people, and, get out of Facebook. Exactly. Get out, log out of Facebook and go meet with real people in real life. And I think that uh, when you do that, you'll find a whole, whole new uh, dimension of, of this process that uh, is actually much more interesting than reading blog posts. Cool. Cool. Well, I would, I would love to continue the conversation with him. It's taking longer. I mean, he's a very inspiring person. So maybe you want to follow him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave his... Uh, web address below and leave your comments leave your perspective about this maybe maybe you can add to somebody else's life maybe you have a doubt I can send him maybe you want to just share your perspective that's, that's going to be cool it's going to be interested and sign up to the I think it's going to be here uh, the, the, the icon of the, this channel be part of this group change your life again change, find, try to find a purpose and maybe follow this this method and he, get your hands dirty. That, that maybe that, that's the that best way to do it. Get out of theory. Put your hands in there in what you like to do. Well, thank you very much. Thank very you, very nice moment we had together. And see you in the next video. Bye.